Hey everybody, and we're right back to it. Like I said, just kind of wanted to continue straight on and deliver another episode straight away. And I, I didn't really want to leave on a cliffhanger of, so what happens to Japan and the entire situation? So yeah, let's, let's continue. Go invisible, walk through lasers, and that's that. We have all four soul shells. I assume he only wants X, please. Where to? The Vinculum Gate? Let me take the. Yes, all received. Go right on inside. I have no idea what this place is, by the way. Is this like a metaphorical space? Or what? I, I don't know. Again, <laughs> it's really hard to rationalize, given how surreal it all is. So I might not. But at the same time, Heaven Smiles really exist in this world. Which are creatures that explode. And that's not at all real. Oh, this is... It holds its arms wide open. It holds a large sickle. It's death. It will slice you to pieces. You must aim for the sickle. It turned around. Now. Now's your chance. Smash the bright spot. Okay, good to know. I do wonder who that is. Backside smile. I do not like the look of you whatsoever, my dude. Okay. That's not that bad. I love the way it teaches mechanics. That's really good. So I assume that's just going to be a now reoccurring enemy through the game. All right, master. This is harsh. Harsher than hell. Let's knock this target off quick. Master, you shouldn't have to bother with the sushi chef. Use the Persona's usual dirty tricks to pulverize him. Bullets won't hit the sushi chef. So listen here, will ya? Do what you have to. There's no such thing as playing square in this world. Aim for the ceiling. In the name of Harmon. So is this going to be a mask to Smith? Blow up the ceiling and have it fall on the guy? type of deal because the last boss was like absurd literally all i did was shoot the roof or shoot more than the other guy did i'm gonna save regardless but yeah that was not a boss fight i ever expected to have where it was just do you shoot more times than the other assassin to win? Yeah, it looks like Good to know. We meet again, baby face. So you were behind this after all. I guess my speech was meaningless. Lucha Libre is for kids. Wow, rude. You, know, you are great with the kids, masked man. Children are pure. They know who's the strongest. Nice. Ow. Ow. What is going on? Is there a way for me to just... This is a really... What is going on? Can I go inside the elevator, please? No? This is such a weird fight, dude. What is going on? Oh, 
That's because I I miss. I don't think I. <laughs> what is going on? Um. Good thing I saved, because I did that very wrong. Like I understand what I had to do, but I was like getting flinched out of my aim every second. I'm a cleaner. Might it be better for me to just load the save? I don't know. Unless Master Smith's body's like right here. Because obviously you have to be Master Smith to do this. Yeah, that's good. Look, I'm a cleaner. I can feel no remorse from seeing a dead body. To me, it's merely cold, rotting flesh. Oh my god, pressing this button so much. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have to be master smith. Let's try that again. Ow, my hand. It's like, where or how do I even dodge his bullets? Or do I just have to take the shots? Is the thing. I don't know. Yeah, and there he's right there. I think I just have to take the shots? Oh my goodness, let me... I can't hit him, is the thing. I had to reload! I don't think I like this fight very much. I got him! I got him. Did he just shoot himself in the head? What? Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Again, the boss fights are very bizarre. And I do wish there were subtitles. I'm very sorry there isn't. Taking advantage of us, aren't you? There's more than one scenario, you know. You got this all mixed up, you monkey. Don't you think you can hold on to the bar forever when you're on the verge of death? Listen to him, barking like a stupid dog. Chee. So, you finally reveal your true self. You dirtbag. I'll take that as a threat to the states. What? Punk. It's the one who designs first that wins. <laughs> I didn't know monkeys could design. Don't underestimate the monkeys. Punk. There are dogs bred for fighting, and they're mean sons of bitches. Okay. Stop your barking. Chief. What? What can one knight possibly do? Don't you care about winning? You really are a stupid dog. You'd better pay attention before someone puts a bullet in your head. Shut up, monkey. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know how to play mahjong, so this means nothing to me. I know your train of thought. Come on. Bullshit! Enough of the caviling. This is pathetic. Hey, yo! Cheater! That's a foodie ten! <laughs> you got no hand! What? Shit! It's all over. What is actually going on? I. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, so clearly I need somebody here. Oh, it's that creepy head case person. Well, hello, Smith. I finally get some fresh air. It's not that I don't like tight spaces, but there are limits on everything. The place is a bit too tight. A box? There's no way to treat somebody. I look like the victim of a mutilation murder. Like, slashed into pieces. Pieces? It completely slipped my mind. Maybe I fall into pieces. Families in pieces. Lovers in pieces. 
bodies and pieces. My whole life is about pieces. Then I figured, why stop now? People I don't care for, also in pieces. Before I knew it, I was all alone. Then I blew up the facility to pieces. And now there's nobody left. That's when I met him. Daddy Long Legs. Here, I'll give you this now. Thanks. I appreciate it. it. Made me so happy. He was so very kind. He enveloped me in warmth. Extended his hand for a gentle caress. Then he grabbed, reached. Oh wow, for a grand prize down south. Mm. Now that drove me mad. Next moment, I'm looking at a pile of minced man. And he knows he deserved it. These baby boomers don't know right from wrong! <laughs> and that's how a killer was born. Well then. Okay. Um, all right then. Hi, Travis. Can you elaborate on the situation? The talks broke down. I mean, clearly. All according to plan, I guess. Now the skies will rain on Japan for sure. Straight up, it doesn't add up. Why doesn't the U.S. destroy the U.N. party? Why do they let them live? Somebody's pulling strings. Could it be a Fukushima adherent? Kinjiro Matsuka is the director of the central management office. Or Matsukin for short. Can you pick up where Fukushima left off? Oh yeah. Fukushima was killed last episode. Can this dude lead Japan? I don't know. Let's just go. This one, bizarre looking control panel. Yeah, it should let me go from the basement to the top floor. Like, this is very... It's like a very distinctly Japanese game with Western influences, but because of the way it's structured, it's just so bizarre, dude. It survived a grenade shot. Why do you think I don't play as Master Smith very often? <laughs> there we go. The Paul's alive. How? For a wrestler, sure are awesome. It reminds me of my childhood. We'd watch wrestlers fighting on TV. I just love Master Smith. Have you ever considered returning to the ring? Prove that the ultimate art of fighting is professional wrestling in a Val Tudo match? Matsukin has the Yamako. He wants to change the world. He believes that Japan will arise from the ashes. This war won't end till you kill him. When you finally meet Matsukin, this can all end. Okay, well that was incredibly ominous. What in the world? I have to do dodges. I don't think I can make this next dodge though. Oh, I did it! Ooh! That's clutch. Oh, I don't get any blood from doing that though. I have a dream. When I grow up, I'm gonna be the president. I'll make the world a place with no bad people. I promise you. I'll kill every last scum. It'll be a peaceful place. And nobody can stop me. But you know what? There are two people who keep screwing things up. The old man just won't die. 
You have to smash his brains to finally kill him for good? Wow. And big old man, your tie is crooked. Okay. I, I don't know who that's a manifestation of. Oh my goodness, this is one of these things again. Nope. Oh, dang it. Oh, there's two of them now? I don't actually know what this, this skill does. Okay, so I got one of them, but... Not the other. Meeting room or the room? Eh. Do I have to be Coyote? Does he have to make the jump over to the meeting room? With his amazing jumping abilities? <laughs> oh, I guess not. Weird. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. No, no. Back to Kevin. So he has like this fan the knives type of deal. He just keep coming! And they won't stop coming. They hit the ground running. No! I'm very tempted to just go invisible and not deal with these guys. I'm just gonna go invisible and run past them. What do you want, Iwazaru? Master. This is harsh. And getting harsher yet. I can't lie. The homeland is out of control. Thundering towards... Who knows where. Master, please tell me. Are you not frightened? Can a nation have a will? I'm not sure anymore. What makes a unit? Can people be counted in units? We cannot accept the way the homeland kills. In the name of Harmon. See, there's a lot of, like, political and social commentary in this. Which is kind of amazingly ahead of its time. Given what, this was, again, a GameCube game? It has a lot to say about the power of nation-states. And... Power on a global scale, I guess. Alright, Travis, you usually... Nice work, Chief. You had your fill of picking off small fries. Well, the big fish are still fair game. The UN party headquarters is right over there. Your target is a couple of corrupt old men. The incarnation, incarnation of greed. Straight up, they're sly old foxes. Japan's good as shit. A ring opens the door to a battle. You'll finish him off, Smith. Okay. How do I get there? I definitely need to upgrade Master Smith some. Somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but he needs some upgrades. He's a blood machine, though. I feel like it's almost at breaking point, though. It feels like a thousand is the. Never mind. <laughs> that was like what? Uh, a little over a thousand five hundred. But that's good to know. And and I like the balance that this game creates because of it. You can't just make one of the personalities, like, way stronger than the others. So, like, now I can use Master Smith, because literally... Oh my goodness, he is so slow! That's my biggest problem with him. Everything he does is too slow. Like, his reload is slow, his movement is slow, his aiming is slow... I don't know what I have to do here, though.
Like, who do I change? Like, I thought Coyote would be able to do it. But he doesn't seem to be able to do anything here. Maybe Master Smith uses one of his wrestling moves? Like, I'm not entirely sure. No? That's why I'm like, what do I do here? I don't think going to the elevator will do anything for me. Hmm. No, I should just be back in the basement floor, which is not useful to me. So let's leave. Who do I... It's not Kevin. Kevin doesn't have, like... I don't know. Maybe I have to... Maybe it's... I have to be sneaky to do this? No. That's what I'm confused about. Like, where do I go? I mean, clearly somewhere here. It's just... How do I get to the meeting room? <laughs> the combo is... I mean, that counter is... So good. I really feel like I need to be... Oh! I'm so stupid! I got the item for it! Let me use the... Oh, wait. I don't remember how to... How exactly it is that I need to use... Oh, I just automatically... I equipped it so I can... I'm dumb! <laughs> of course, the wind ring. There we go. Yeah, these... these two. This country is country. big. Sure is. It's too big. Our about... voices will never be heard. <laughs> you really think you're better than us because we're all men. You're not getting out of here alive. Japan's not going down just yet. Not without a fight. We'll show him, right, partner? Oh, this is horrific. Let me go back to Coyote, though. I feel more comfortable using Coyote. This is weird. Hmm. The like key, like, ah. Uh. I'm not entirely sure what I need to do this episode or this boss fight. Dang it. I'm gonna get hit by that. Dang it. And it doesn't look like I have to shoot the roof or something. And, and this is just going to constantly be happening, so... I'm not entirely sure. Oh goodness, come on. Can I just not hit this thing? 
I can change though, so let's try Kevin. I feel like I'm missing something. What that is, I'm not entirely sure though. Yeah, because there's like not a lot in this. Stop messing around. Okay. Master Smith? But it's like, what do you do? I don't know. Hmm. I'm actually very confused. Like, what do I do besides just constantly shooting their heads? Or whatever they keep spitting out. It's hard to tell, man. Because they just keep coughing that up and it's like... I don't get it. What, what do I shoot at? Do I have to make them have multiple at once? I don't know. Let me shoot. I mean, they missed, so... Come on. I'll shoot one of them. Hmm. Maybe I'm just reading this boss fight wrong? This is weird. Because they said crush brain. But if I stand here, I mean, obviously they can't do anything. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I, I don't understand. Like... Like... Hmm... I mean, clearly it has something to do with their brains, right? Like, I'm shooting their brains, but... Oh. Okay. Yeah, like, 
Okay, it was something about fixing ties, right? I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it, because obviously it means I have to crush their brains, because otherwise I won't die. And... Something about fixing a tie... Yeah, but then what? That's what I don't understand. This is a puzzle fight, but I don't entirely understand what to do for said puzzle. Like, what? I shoot the tie- but then the brains, they keep sh showing up! It's like... Hmm. Let me watch their animation when they're 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 doing the tie thing. Oh, oh! I can see his actual brain when he goes into. Okay, that's. Oh, this gets harder. And he's dead. Okay, okay. That makes us that makes more sense. This bizarre boss fight though. It's actually pretty cool. Sometimes a double shot makes it a bit more difficult. Oh goodness, come on. Hang it. Yeah, let me shoot your tie. Hmm, his brain is hard to hit. The double shot actually makes this more difficult. Dang it. Good luck, please. He's got a real gross brain. This one. Dang it. I'm pretty sure I only have one more hit to, to beat him. How am I gonna hit his brain, dude? This might be better as Kevin, actually. Because he doesn't need to sit there and worry about reloading. It's hard to hit! Maybe it was better as Kevin. I mean, uh, Coyote. No, I got him. There we go. What a bizarre fight. But we did it. Kaku building, that's what this place was called. I assume we just go back home. To Seattle, Washington. Yeah, the overpass where we meet with that one guy.
What can you do when the whole world has its eyes on you? Almost everything. Destroying one or two nations? <laughs> it's an easy task here. The promise made 30 years ago wasn't a guarantee. It was only the beginning of a countdown. Look at them. They're heading toward hell. What's sad is that we've gotten used to this. I mean, our senses. That's pathetic. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're not human. Wow. Okay, now you're not helping. Well then. <laughs> A lot of heaven smiles. Laughter is the countdown of devastation. That's dark. In it. Continue to cloud man. That that uses <laughs> so much like bleeding cowboy. Yes, I will save this file, and I will end this episode because that's like the best place to end the episode. So I hope you join me next time, enjoying this wild, confusing but oddly understandable ride through Suda Fifty One's brain. And his commentary on social power. And cool assassins and explodey dudes and stuff. But yeah, I'll be joining my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.